Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Doretta D. Rose report. I got a kind of sad news report. Uh, I mean, sadder than normal, but uh, I mean, just sad news in it. Uh, but anyway, first, let's get started off kind of decent. Hey, Ricardo Rodriguez noted on Twitter that he's been helping out back uh, in behind the scenes at WWE lately. So he's not gone. He's still working. And the cast of the Total Divas did media, uh, media appearances and photo shoot on Wednesday. They also participated in some sort of a special event last night, and Brie Bella tweeted the following. Said, you uh, guys are all in for a treat with season two of the Total Divas. She said, if you only knew what was going on right now. Oh, <clears throat> got me nervous. Batista tweeted the following on Wednesday night. Not sure what he meant by this. Uh, maybe you can read into it, but just wanted to thank everyone who supported my return. I miss you guys. All you other negative smarks can suck my balls. <laughs> That's what he said. Anyway, uh, then he says, ha ha. All right, uh, former WWE star Rikishi and Gangrel. Remember them? They're going to be uh, promoting Rikishi's... Rikishi's Territory League Wrestling on the KTLA 5 morning news show, uh, February 5th at 5 a.m. You get that. Uh, apparently, he's starting up at maybe a territory right around in L.A. there. All right. Wrestling legend Bobby Eaton was in critical condition this past week after being upgraded uh, and moved to a regular hospital room on January 18th. He's suffering from uh, heart issues, complications from diabetes, stomach ulcer, and uh, also noted that uh, Eaton's going to be entering a WWE sponsored rehab as soon as his health is better. Oh, whatever he was doing must have been kicking his butt, but uh, anyway, Santino Morella is currently out of action, rehabbing his chronic neck injury, no timetable on his return, and remember Rosie. Former WWE star Rosie, or Matt Anoy. Uh, has uh, developed early stages of congestive heart failure and uh, a condition called uh, ultra uh, uh, fibrillation, arteria fibrillation. I was able to say that earlier. Atrial, there you are, atrial defib uh, fibrillation. But anyway, he was hospitalized this week with an enlarged heart functioning at only 25%. Uh, his heart issues led to a lot of fluid buildup, and they pumped 62 pounds of fluid they drained from his body, and doctors are uh, wanting to drain another 30 pounds before he leaves the hos hospital in a few days. Woo! <clears throat> 90, well, close to 90 pounds of just fluid retention. Uh, normally, the heart is strong enough, it pumps it away, and you end up, you know, in the bathroom peeing all of it out, but... Uh, uh, anyway, Anoy's brother, don't know whether you know this or not, the older brother, uh, Anoy is the older brother of WWE superstar Roman Reigns. Uh, but anyway, not good. And the other thing, not good. As things stand right now, Hulk Hogan will not be wrestling at WrestleMania 30, but he will be making some sort of an appearance there. And word is that Hogan was examined by the WWE doctors and company and has made the call not only not put him in a wrestling match, but not to book him in anything physical involving him. There have been some talk about bringing Hogan back, you know, uh, on the February 24th show, uh, Raw, with several other big name superstars. Uh, that's the night after Elimination Chamber, and the WWE Network launches then. So, man, I hate to hear that. This guy gave everything to wrestling, and now he just. Uh, you know he'd want to get out there and do something, but legally-wise, you know, they don't want to be responsible for anything happening. They did that years ago with, uh, talk about Rosie, uh, <clears throat> uh, big old, uh, oh, shoot, his, uh, oh, I think that awful, can't even think of it. I'll come back to that, hang on. It's called Old Timers Disease. Hey, uh... Former WWE Maria Canales, uh, she's going to be doing an Ask Me Anything chat on Reddit Friday afternoon, if you got the internet up and running. Uh, it says Friday afternoon at 11 p.m. I don't know about me or you, but I think Friday uh, at 11 p.m. is not in the afternoon. That's just me. 
All right, uh, Goldust uh, says he's going to un uh, be unveil unveiling something special on uh, WWE's Royal Rumble kickoff show um, this Sunday. And Hall of Famer Ted DiBiase is going to be a special guest speaker's first Assembly of God Church, Minden, Louisiana, this Sunday morning. Mark Madden interviewed Paul Heyman on uh, 105.9 The X in Pittsburgh today. And, uh, uh, well, it'll be at 315. He hadn't done it yet. He's going to be. Probably, it could be a tape one. I'm not sure. All right. Um, former uh, WWE Diva Stacy Keebler featured in a commercial for the VH1 Super Bowl Blitz. Uh, which she uh, began co-hosting with Nick Cannon on Monday. And if you think you didn't see her, she now has dark hair. So watch for the commercial, but uh, you just kind of <laughs> look at the face and just not pay any attention to the hair or anything like that. All right, TNA's Babyface Investor, Investor versus uh, Dixie Carter storyline is scheduled to carry, uh, carry on through October, I guess, and Bound for Glory. Now this is going to be maybe a cost-cutting tragedy Kazarian and Daniels TNA contract expires in April and it's been said that Daniels is one of the better remaining contracts still on the books but there's strong speculation that Daniels will be uh, the next one to get the cost cutting treatment most everyone uh, who still uh, is left up with the good contracts expect things to change uh, as their deals you know uh, expire I think Daniels and uh, Styles, I think, was about the first ones uh, with TNA. Other than Jarrett. Ziggler uh, says he's scheduled to be in the Royal Rumble on Sunday so his concussion can be evaluated by doctors. And uh, Ziggler says he's healing well and there's a chance he will be cleared to compete in the main event. All right, happy birthday to one time Ring of Honor champion Nigel McGinnis, uh, or 38 years old. Don't know whatever happened to him. As far as I know, he was he went over to TN. I mean, uh, Ring of Honor. I don't get them that channel. Uh, former uh, TNA uh, developmental talent Alex Silva, 24 years old, and former WWF and NWA Women's Champion Leilani Kai, uh, 54 years old. All right, that's about it for uh, the news so far. So, uh, guess what? I gotta go.